Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a quick look at and installing the Modern Billet Phantom Black Grill Overlay for the front end of all 08 to 14 Challengers. You should be checking this out if you're looking to upgrade the front end appearance of your Challenger, giving it a nice classic retro styling with a really aggressive finish. This is one of those horizontal billet grill overlays that doesn't require any modifications. It goes right on over the factory grill, fits in to this nice little cutout in front of your headlights as well, and has a full extension across your front end. Now this horizontal bar is again made from a strong billet aluminum construction. It's got a gloss black finish over it. Now there are some options out there with chrome or even matte black options, textured black, powder coating, so on and so forth. I think adding to that nice retro classic styling, the gloss black just looks really sharp at the front end. Now one thing I like about it is it does extend past your headlights. And as you can see, I turned our headlights on to show you guys, it doesn't really impede a lot of the lighting output. Now of course, anything in front of your lights impedes light output a little bit, but it's not super impactful to the point where it's gonna be hard visibility wise at nighttime. I don't think that's gonna be an issue here. Now the grill comes in right around 130 bucks, which I think is pretty affordable for what you get here. It's a huge impact on appearance. So for 130 bucks, you make a big difference at the front end. Definitely worthwhile for the guys looking for that change without having to remove your bumper or your factory grill. That's a big bonus too. The install is gonna get one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. You can tackle it in about an hour worth of time. In the driveway at home, all you're really gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver. All the hardware is included in the kit for you. One thing we did have a little bit of trouble with was getting the studs to go through that factory grill. But guys, with a little bit of patience and finessing those brackets, you can definitely make it work. And all you're really gonna do is put studs onto the back of the grill. It's gonna go through your factory grill and you're gonna tighten everything down from the inside and it's gonna secure itself to that factory grill. So really easy and you can't even see the hardware from the front end. All the hardware is black blends in very nicely, so it's not gonna stick out like a sore thumb. It looks like it's fitted to your front end perfectly. The other thing I like about it is that fitment. It really hugs the edges here and doesn't come in contact with the paint at all, so you don't have to worry about it chipping or scratching. Just take extra caution when installing it yourself. Other than that, guys, you can tackle it. I'm gonna show you how, so let's get to it. Tools used in the install include a Phillips head screwdriver and an eight millimeter wrench. All right guys, the first step for the installation is to assemble our hardware on the back side of your new billet grill from Modern Billet. Now, as you can see, we've got these brackets that almost look like brass knuckles. These things are gonna install right on the back side, and as you can see, there's conveniently welded on bracket tabs already drilled out and welded to the back side of that grill. Now, this bracket is going to install just like this. Now, as you can see, the bracket does angle a certain way. We want it to angle inward that's gonna make our life a whole lot easier when it comes time to install it on our factory grill. So we've got these little U-nuts. These are gonna be inserted onto the holes. If you need to, you wanna pinch it closed. If you need to grab pliers to do so, you can do that, but you wanna get it nice and snug around the tab of this bracket. You also wanna make sure that the open hole, not the closed portion, is facing you. That's where the screw is gonna insert through and screw and attach to. This screw is a Phillips head. We're gonna use that to go through the bracket and we're gonna thread it in a couple by hand first. Do the same thing for the upper and lower portion. Now what I like about this grill is that these, these tabs that are welded to the back of the billet grill make it really easy to align. You don't have to guess where this bracket needs to go. It's already lined up for you. Once you have it threaded in a couple, grab a Phillips head screwdriver and really tighten them down. One thing I don't particularly love, the Phillips head screws are actually super long. If you have, conveniently in your house or in your garage, if you have smaller Phillips heads that'll fit this, I'd recommend using them, uh, just because these are just a little unnecessarily long, but they'll do the trick. Perfect. All right, now just be careful because these screws, again, are super long. They can be pretty dangerous when you're going back here to tighten everything down. You wanna repeat this for the other side. Pinch that closed, insert that over the bracket. We're gonna repeat all the same steps.
All right, now you can take your grill and lay it into place on your front end. Guys, really be careful with your paint. You wanna make sure it's going straight in and not contacting the actual exterior paint. Now the studs will go through the factory grill, and what you're gonna do is take the bracket and put it in the kit, this bracket here. It's gonna lay over the two studs, and then you're gonna use the nuts included in the kit to tighten it down. You're gonna do that from under the hood. Now under the hood, if you guys have that black plastic trim, you can get that removed. Stick your hand down there to access the back side of your factory grill and lay this into place. It's a real tight squeeze, and if you drop it, it may land on the belly pan, so you wanna have a magnet ready to go grab that down there, or you can crawl under the car. Now, when you're laying this in place, make sure you got your nut ready. All right, once you have that grill centered where you want it, you wanna stick your hand underneath with that bracket, pushing the grill from the front, and you're basically gonna hook it on the top stud and the bottom stud, pushing it into place. Grab your nuts and tighten them down to the back of that. All right, I got it hooked on. Just gonna thread it on by hand first, making sure it stays on both studs. Now I'll do the same thing for the bottom one. All right, once you get it all hand tight, guys, you can grab your wrench and head down there and give it one half turn and it'll be nice and snug. All right, at this point, you can grab an eight millimeter wrench and you're gonna head down here and just tighten those nuts. Again, just a little half turn to get it nice and tight. Perfect. All right, now you can repeat for the other side. Guys, that's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Modern Billet Phantom Black Upper Grill Overlay in the black finish, available for the 08 to 14 Challenger. If you wanna grab yours for your Challenger, you can do so right here at AmericanMuscle.com.